Hello, I'm Michael Vasani, and today I'm going to show you how to create a mood board in Photoshop really quickly that you can take along to your photo shoots so you can keep an idea of the sort of style or mood that you want to go for on the day. The other great thing about the mood board is you can use it to show your crew exactly what you're trying to achieve. You can show your model, you can show your makeup artist, you can show your stylist, and then everyone's on the same page as you. It's very difficult for them to know what you're after if you can't show them first. So I know in my mind what I'm looking for, but no one else on the day is going to have any idea how that translates. So if I just do this quickly first thing in the morning, it takes maybe 15 minutes, and it shows everyone what we're trying to do today. So I know what my client wants. They want an eco-friendly look in the forest with a model wearing their clothing. So before I start, I'm going to show you how to create the mood board template. I already have a couple of these, but I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch. It's going to make your life a lot easier in the future. So I've seen a lot of people doing this on YouTube and they seem to struggle and I think the main reason for that is that they don't set Photoshop up in a, a way which supports developing the mood board. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to create the, the document and then I'll show you how to change your settings to make this process so much quicker. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go to File, New, okay, we change Document Type to International Paper because I use A4 paper, okay, and it's going to create a document for me. Okay, so normally I wouldn't do this process, but I'm just showing you guys how to create a mood board template so that you can create your mood boards much quicker. And later on in the video, I'll actually show you um, myself creating the mood board for today's photo shoot. Okay, so we need to turn on our grid and our rulers to make this process a little bit easier. So we're going to go to view rulers, okay, and they look like they're currently in inches. And then we're going to go to view, show, and grid. Okay, and the grid looks like it's in centimeters. So to change the ruler is quite easy. You right click up here and we're going to change this to percent. You would imagine that the grid would copy the ruler because that would make sense, but unfortunately it doesn't. So you need to go to edit and you need to go to preferences and you need to go to guides, grid and slices. Okay, so for this I'm going to use percentages. Okay, so we come here and we change this to percent and then we're going to put a grid every 10 and we're going to divide it by 4 so we're going to have a grid line every two and a half percent okay so now you can see um, the grid is matching the ruler okay we have equal number of squares and spaces across the grid okay because before when we had centimeters we ended up with like two and a two columns grid which, which is kind of difficult so the next thing I want to do is I want to go to view and I want to make sure that snap is ticked and I want to make sure that snap to grid uh, and guides is always ticked anyway okay for now so this basically means that when I draw on my grid um, the, the the selection tool snaps to the grid but for some reason and I've never quite figured this one out um, it doesn't seem to snap to the horizontal lines it just snaps to the vertical lines. so as you as I move it around it sort of snaps to the vertical lines quite easily but to get to the horizontal lines it sort of I have to really just sort of mess around and I, I don't know why that is you would think it would snap to both but it doesn't so instead I use rulers to create the horizontal lines okay so we, we come up here and from this ruler you just grab and pull down okay and then you see the little Y value when it says 10 percent I let go if you want to grab a ruler you need to click on the move tool and then you grab the ruler and again I just drag it down until it says 20% then I let go and I'm going to do this for each one so our grid is ready and this is for like quick rough and ready mood boards this isn't a design tutorial for perfect printing so for that reason I'm going to assume that this top left corner is the top left corner of the printable document not the A4 paper okay if you wanted to do this for like a print purpose then you're going to have to take into account sort of margins and you're going to have to work from this corner here and you're going to have to figure out how much margin and bleed you need on your document but for what we're doing it's not so important okay so I'm just going to drag and draw a quick square like so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to use the paint bucket and I'm just going to draw a square box like that okay now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to move it to here Okay, then I'm going to press free transform, which is command T, and I'm just going to snap this same box and create a slightly different shape. Okay, and I'm going to just sort of keep doing that, leaving a one space gap between just to create something 
which is going to work as a mood board. And you can make these sort of shapes and sizes however you want to do them, okay? Because later on we're going to use this as sort of a layer mask. So we just grabbed some boxes, we can just move them around. Again, like I said earlier, this is a really quick, rough and ready guide. And for some reason, again, this horizontal um, alignment just doesn't work. I don't know why that is, so I'm just going to zoom in, move this layer down, and I'm going to actually just drag in another ruler so that I can snap to that later on, make it a little bit easier for me, okay? And it doesn't have to be pixel perfect, like I said, we're going to just throw this piece of paper away later on, so don't worry too much, just get it the way you want it. Okay, so this is the basic squares that we're going to be using, and we're going to turn this into a template which you're going to be able to use in the future. Like I said, I have a bunch of these. I don't really normally do this, but I want to show you how to do this quickly from scratch. So we need to merge all of these into a single layer. Okay, so just click the top one, scroll down to the bottom, hold down Shift, you've selected them all. You can just press Control e and it merges them into a single layer. Now the next thing that I want to do is actually Control the next thing I want to do is control click the layer okay and it's created a nice selection for us and we create a new layer and now we basically do select inverse so we've now got the white areas of this document selected okay we're going to use our paint tool we're going to change our color to gray for now just so that you can see this process much easier and we're going to fill it in gray now we can actually delete the blackboard the black squares and we have this document like so and we're going to save this document and you can use it again in the future I know exactly what I'm going to try and recreate so I want hippie uh, woods photo shoot okay so the clients a yoga company and they've told me already the sort of thing that they want and I've translated that to hippie woods photo shoot okay so I press enter and then we click on images then you want to come over here and click on this cog and you want to click advanced search and then you want to go to image size and you want to change it to larger than 400 by 300 because that's a it's an okay size it's not the best but if you go too big then you'll find less inspiration so now we've basically just got lot slightly larger images to work with and I know what I want I want sort of sunshine coming from behind the model so things like this uh, I like the bokeh here I like this and I basically am, I'm just right clicking and I'm doing open in new tab and I'm just going to select a bunch of images so I have 13 slots in my mood board so I need to find 13 images I have my 13 images I'm just going to make this window a little bit smaller and then I'm just going to come here and I always do right click open image in new tab because otherwise sometimes you end up with the version of the image uh, which is stored on Google servers and sometimes it's smaller than the actual image that you want okay copy image go to Photoshop control V paste the image in okay I'm gonna do this for each image so everything's now in Photoshop and you need to just make sure that the original layer that we created your your white overlay mask the boxes mask is on the top it's gray but it's gray for a reason so that we can see it and later on I'm gonna make it white then we're just going to grab the images and really quickly, rough and dirty, we're just going to drag them and we're going to make them fit certain size boxes, okay? And don't worry about making this perfect, it doesn't matter if something's overlaying something else, all you need to do is bring up other images above these later on, okay? So we drag this one, it's going to fit nicely here. So I have an image roughly in each box, and then we're just going to go to each image and just free transform it to make it fit. So we have everything roughly right, and now we're just going to tidy it up. So this image here is clearly bleeding into other spaces. So we right click layer 15, we grab our square and we can just really quickly roughly chop here. Okay, this image is clearly bleeding into other places, so we select that layer. And then we just use our selection tool and we delete here and here. This image is bleeding into the box next door. So you line everything up and then just delete the stuff that you don't want later. The final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer 1 and I'm going to go to layer, style, color overlay 
and I'm going to change this to normal so this is just a, a normal layer now and you can see that it's turned it white and I click OK the reason I use that is so that I can easily turn off the color overlay again later on okay so the last thing you need to do is print your mood board so we go to file print we will get some cropping on this but it doesn't matter because this is not something we're doing to print out and hand to 10,000 people it's a quick rough and ready guide to take with you on a photo shoot so that you can show everybody what your ideas are so I'm just going to click print settings and I'm going to choose photo printing with white borders, paper size A4, paper type. Um, I use HP Advanced Photo Paper for this. I click OK. You can see that it's twisted it to landscape. That's not a problem. We're just going to click back to portrait. And then we just click print. Some image clipping will occur. And that's basically what this message is. And that's basically what I was telling you about. Don't worry about it. Just click proceed. So I'll just quickly show you the shape board and I'm not sure if the correct term for this is a shape board is what I call it. It's basically a bunch of poses which I'm going to try and recreate on the day. So we have a couple of yoga poses which are sort of not so difficult to pull off hopefully. And then we have a couple of standing poses and the feel for the day for the standing poses is kind of relaxed, um, sort of a calm feeling. This pose here is kind of a bit too strong and doesn't really belong in the shape board. But this is more of a sort of personal reminder for me just to get some shots from the back. So I need some shots of the back of the model as well and the other thing which I like to do for this board is uh, do new adjustment layer and we go to um, hue and saturation okay and make sure the layers at the top and I just remove the color from this board okay so this is like uh, removing the mood in a way that's how I sort of see this so that so that it's clear that this is the shape board I mean these pictures kind of have the same mood anyway but sometimes perhaps you want to use different shapes to what your mood has or maybe you pick a bunch of shapes like this from a studio which uh, you know this is quite a glamorous look and doesn't really fit with the theme of the day and then the other thing which I sometimes do is I go to uh, the curves layer and I just bring in a little bit more blacks and a little bit more white into this board just to kind of highlight the shapes a little bit more okay so this is the shape board and I'll be taking this along with me today also okay guys so this is the finished image and I just wanted to share this with you to show you some of my work and um, you know it's been a few days since the shoot the clients happy and I'm also happy I took my mood boards along I knew what I wanted to capture I wanted the Sun coming in from behind the model um, I have a 550 flash gun EX flash gun on the right hand side I have a reflector on the left balancing all the light up there's a lot of light coming from behind her um, but it worked really really well I will be doing a lot more photography style tutorials soon as well. I'm going to get the camera in the studio and show you guys some sort of other lighting tips and techniques. And I will continue to upload the Photoshop stuff as well. So, you know, if you like this video, please give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I hope this stuff helps. If you have any comments at all or any questions, please just stick them in the boxes below. And I will get back to you and I'll see you in the next video.